Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cliffy here now. I have gone uh, four balls into this. I did realize when I was recording, I was basically just recording this little area from here to here. So we'll just have a quick look at the first wicket that Oren has got in the first over against Nottinghamshire, who are currently bottom of the table. Um, so... Hopefully we can go and pick up a win here. They do still have a decent team. Ross Taylor. I was going to say I'd be embarrassed if that wasn't Ross Taylor. That would be awkward for me. Um, Ricky Weasley's, Samit Patel, Will Root, uh, Fletcher, Wood, Footer, and Harry Gurney. So um, a decent side. And to be bottom after one game, it is a bit hard to go and uh, determine whether they are going to be wooden spooners for this season. So... We've gone in with pretty much the same side. I have changed my wicket keeper, kept Zach Chappell in there, um, just because he did do well in that one-day game. Um, and we have gone once again with the uh, chances. So we do have chances and wickets as the highlights for the one-day game, because I think that adds just a little bit extra to it. Um, is this going to be... Well, how is that even a chance? The guy was past the wicket keeper a mile away. I don't know why they've bothered to go and show that. But anyway, let's carry on. Hopefully Aaron can go and, uh, I guess, get back to a little bit of form because he has been a little bit rusty since that debut of his um, in the county championship where he was just absolutely on fire and was basically picking up wickets left, right and centre, which is what we are doing here in this challenge trophy, in this one-day competition. We have been... We've been good in this one-day competition. Um, so we're going to look to try and go and keep it up. 29 for 3 off the first 10 overs. And we are going back to a defensive field. Holy crap. We bring in him and he gets absolutely pumped first ball. So um, hopefully we can go and get back into a little bit of form. Ross Taylor in. So this is a this is a dangerous partnership. And there we go, Klein. He did get uh, tonked around a little bit in that first over. He has come back and cleaned up Taylor with a beautiful in swinging Yorker. And I think if we can get through both Samit Patel and Root, there's not really a whole lot left there um, batting wise. And it was a hard one to bat first in this game. Uh, sorry, to bowl first in this game. I was very tempted to bat first and uh, try and bowl this side out, but. I just want to try and stick to what we have done well in the one game that we have played, um, which was obviously to chase. So hopefully the bowlers can do the job early on, and it's not going to be too difficult later on down in the piece. So I really want to I want to put my spinner on, but our quicks are doing so well at the moment. Dexter, I think I'll keep going. Klein, I will save for a little bit later on, and hopefully Parkinson can come in and not be too expensive because um, this pitch isn't that suited for spin, but we have seen, regardless, that he can go just like there and pick himself up wicket. So he gets P uh, Patel for 22, uh, which is bloody brilliant, it must be said. And not ideal that he is now bowling to two left-handers, but that hasn't stopped him in the past. We're going to bring in Chapel Again, I do like Chapel as a one-day player. I think he's aggressive with the bat, but with the ball, he can still be very expensive. So we might just go the two overs for him. He has gone for 20, and we don't really want to undo, I guess, the good work that has been done. And I think if we can get through here, we can get one wicket um, and get the bowlers in. That's exactly what we want. Um, and it is going to hopefully trigger another little lower order collapse. That one there has gone. Is there a player there? You betcha there is. Moore's gone. Parkinson gets his second. Um, and for a guy who hasn't played... A whole lot of one-day cricket. As you can see, this is only his third match, um, but five wickets already. He has been very economical as well, only going for four. So it'll be interesting to see how he does go um, in 2020 cricket as well, um, whether he is going to be expensive or if he's going to go and get the job done. So we're getting plenty of chances here, it must be said, um, but we haven't quite been able to get that finishing blow as of yet. We're going to bring in rain now, otherwise we are going to run out of overs from the other end. Actually, no, we won't, because um, Chapel bowled some overs, didn't he? Oh, boy, oh boy. Fletcher, see you later. Gone for a second ball duck. And uh, things are looking good here, it must be said. If we can get with a uh, root here, this is Joe's brother, and he's gone for 25. Um, then... We're not going to be chasing a whole lot, and hopefully we can roll up Harry Gurney here with the last one. Surely that's taken the outside edge. Big appeal, but the umpire stands unmoved, shakes his head, and says that that is not out. But one-day games, we are... Oh, 
Parkinson. Good God, man. Three chances in that over. Outside edge there off of Reigns Bowling. They are just going to get those singles. So Parkinson done and dusted with his overs. I'm going to bring Oren in. Is it, it's, uh, I always get confused because I think it's Voren Aaron. And so I always call him Voren. Kind of merge both his last name and his first name. Coming around the wicket here to Harry Gurney, which is an unusual tactic. Um, that is just lazy from the captain not to change that. So um, we will do that in the next episode. That 150 has gone away. And they put on a nice wee partnership here, uh, the two tail enders. There is a leading edge down the ground, which will not please the captain one bit. But they're edging away towards... A semi-defendable total, it must be said. Um, it would be interesting to see how this last partnership has gone, because they have just, as I said, they've just knotted away, not done heaps, but they have put on 20, which is frustrating, considering they were 6 for 150, then it went to 9 to 150, and uh, they are going to finish up not out, 180. So it is going to be a similar chase um, to last time around. I have moved Ackerman up to the top to open. Um, Patini at three. Oh, God. Ackerman, okay, that will do. Um, yeah, Patini at three, Dexter at four. We will once again go to the uh, medium, which is the boundaries, obviously, and the chances. So we do get the best of both worlds and uh, hopefully we can go and get off to a bit of a start like we did last time because um, it really took the pressure off towards that back end of the innings um, and did make things a lot easier on the middle order and saying that it was only the top four that did get a bat but um, we just want to make it as easy as possible for that inexperienced middle order I guess um, if they are required to come in and have a bat but in saying that the middle order isn't actually um, that inexperienced with the changes that we have made obviously Patini at three um, Dexter who's 33 at four and then Cosgrove um, at number five so um, the middle order now is probably a strength of ours to be fair the whole top five is a strength um, now that we have gone and included Patini in there I did want to try and you know get that youth in there and get that youth involved but I think at the moment um, just so we can keep building and keep moving things forward and get getting I guess that winning momentum back um, we will just continue to stick with experience for now which goes a little bit against my philosophy I do like bringing in the young guys um, but we've got to do what's right for the club and the team at the moment and that is getting wins on the board um, and trying I guess to improve our position uh, in the county circuit and getting players to want to come and play for Leicestershire you know top quality players guys that are fringe on oh, well, fringe players for the England national team um, along with guys that can come out and you know play as overseas players for us as well we do still have um, I think it's Cam Delport from South Africa to come back from international duty um, so when we get him back he'll obviously slot in to the side potentially at the expense of of Chapel, just because obviously still very young, still has a lot of time, but could benefit from some time um, down in the second eleven um, playing for our side in there. So Patini, I must say, since we oh, kiss of death once again, I was going to say Super brought him in. He has been very good, um, but a thirty-one off of just thirty-two deliveries there, um, and just a fifty-five required now of twenty-one overs. So we've done a very decent job. It must be said at. Uh, you know, t I guess taking the pressure off, um, I want to say the inexperienced middle order, but it's not inexperienced anymore. It is actually very experienced. So, um, but in saying that, I think there's been, can we have a look? Is this the last one here? So there's actually been, in the last f six, is that six overs? And one, two, three, four, five. In the last seven overs, there has only been three runs that have been scored. So um, we're going to have to go and try and fix that up a little bit. Otherwise, we are going to be putting uh, way too much pressure on the guys coming in next. And this is a pitch that is difficult to bat on. The overhead conditions uh, aren't very good. And as you can see, Dexter is five off of 36. He has been cleaned up by a free hit. Oh, my God. Surely we're not going to lose this from here. Surely not. We need 35 in the last 10 overs. Come on, Cosgrove, you big Australian beast. Get the job done for us. No, he's gone. 
Okay, now it's starting to get to panic stations because now all of a sudden we need 30 off of the last six overs. And we were absolutely cruising to victory, it must be said. And we have somehow gone on a downward spiral at an incredible rate of knots. Um, so hopefully, uh, Eckersley, the wicketkeeper, can try and take a little bit of pressure off there, which he has done with uh, two boundaries in that over, taking it down to 22 off of the last five. Um, and then six coming off that over, so 16. Oh, God. This is tense. This is actually tense. We have really choked. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, there is no way that we should lose this. From the position we were in, Oh my god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, right, 10 from 6. We need a boundary early. Outside edge. Has that gone to a fielder? You bet you it has. Wow. How have we managed to cock this up? Wow, we're going to lose this. We're going to lose this game. We are going to lose this game. And a run out. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm a bit lost for words there because we needed bugger all. I'm going to go back and have a look at the tape on this one because there is no way we should have lost that game. Dexter, 9 off of 50. Wow. That is... Wow, that is something else. Um, so that is very disappointing to pick up a loss. It does still keep us in fifth position uh, with a positive net run rate. But, wow, we should we should be up there. We should be in third above Durham. Um, but hey, these things happen. Cricket is a funny game. We'll move on to the next game. Do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Has been a, uh, a bit of a letdown, it must be said, in that last 10 to 15 overs of the batting chase. Don't Still really don't know what happened and uh, what we could have done to try and fix it. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Remember to drop a like, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, I still can't believe it, but I'll see you guys very, very soon.